What's going on everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. Excuse me if there's some background noise guys. We've got a storm literally right outside of my garage. That's where I film. But I really wanted to jump on because I have an amazing trade that I made for a pair of Grail UNC sneakers. If you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you know that I'm a huge UNC fan. So let's get into this UNC sneaker because I'm super excited to show it off to you. All right, guys, so here you have it. If you know what this box is, you know this is just an awesome, awesome sneaker. You can see the XI right here for 11 because I traded for the pair of UNC 11 Pantones. Man, as a UNC fan, this is just an ultimate UNC grail for me. This also has a little more history now because two years ago during the NCAA March Madness Tournament, Caleb Love, who is a shooting guard for the UNC Tar Heels, or was a shooting guard, he actually transferred this year. Uh, we were playing UCLA in the Sweet 16, and Caleb Love was having an awful game for the first half. In the second half, he actually switched into the Pantone 11s and had a great game afterwards. So second half, he lit it up and we beat UCLA. We ended up moving on through the Elite Eight. And then in the final four, we beat Duke. And that was the first and only time that UNC has met Duke in the actual ACC, not ACC, sorry, NCAA March Madness Tournament. And beating them in the final four was just one of the greatest UNC accomplishments that I've seen in my lifetime. I've seen a couple of national championships, but I may have been more excited to beat Duke in the Final Four than any of those national championships. But anyway, the Pantone Jordan 11, hopefully this focuses so you guys can see this. This all over UNC makeup with the UNC patent leather as well as the UNC nubuck, making up the upper, the icy bottoms, the black accents on the ankle collar. This is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. In my size, a size 13, a brand new pair of these is going for roughly $1,100. Um, I did get this pair used, even though it looks great. It's barely used. Uh, bottoms look very good. Hardly any creasing on the toe box. There's a little bit of creasing right here. But I actually like that they're used because I'm more likely to wear them uh, because I'm not afraid to undes them. Uh, I ended up trading a pair of Yeezy 350 V2 Static Blacks in the non-reflective version, as well as a pair of New Balance Salehi Benberry uh, Water Be The Guides. Yep, so... I'll flash pictures of both of those up here so you can see them. And let me know down below who you think won that trade. Uh, the Pantone 11s here or the pair of Yeezys and the pair of Salehi Benberries. Man, I'm just in shock that I have these. I'm actually gonna get a, a clear case to put these in so I can put them behind me for my videos. And I'm gonna have these on display because this is now just one of my favorite shoes, if not my favorite shoe in my collection, having a pair of UNC Grail sneakers the UNC Pantone Jordan 11s. Man, I'm just hyped. Let me know down below if you have this pair, if you've seen this pair, and if you like this pair. Um, am I overhyping them? Am I just being too excited? Or is my, my excitement justified by having such an iconic and cool colorway for the Jordan 11? Now I'm gonna cut it to an on feet really quick of these just so you guys can see them. Um, yeah, I love, I threw these on yesterday for a short, but I love the way these look. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on so you guys can see them. But I appreciate you tuning in for a very short video to take a look at these UNC Pantone Jordan 11s. Please stay safe, stay blessed. I appreciate you very much. If you're new here, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Anyway, uh, I will see you soon and peace out. Thank you for tuning in.